Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 28th. I'm Jasmine Anderson. A fire has damaged a popular beachfront destination on the island. Police say flames ignited the laundry room on Sands Beach Club in Atlantic Beach yesterday evening. This was a scene on Beach Street. No one was hurt. We're told the building has minor damage. Closing arguments are expected to begin today in former President Trump's criminal hush money trial in Manhattan. Donald Trump is accused of falsifying business records to cover up payments during the 2016 presidential election to porn actress Stormy Daniels to hide an alleged affair. Jury deliberations could begin tomorrow. A new federal lawsuit after a teen's emotional support dog was banned from his home. The suit is being brought by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. It says the East Hampton Housing Authority violated a housing law by refusing to let a teenager with mental health and other medical conditions to live with his emotional support dog for 19 months before reversing its stance. The agency repeatedly denied Carrie Maroney's request for her son's dog named Lucky to live in the Akabonic apartments where the family has resided since 2021. A plan to modify rail stations in Inwood and North Lawrence into commercial and residential hubs could be scrapped. The Hempstead Town Board will hold a hearing next week to rescind the plan over environmental impact concerns. It originally called for the construction of apartments over ground floor businesses as well as town and row houses near train stations. A warning about sharks as we head back to the beaches. We're expected to have a shark season similar to the past few years where sightings led to the closing of beaches for hours and sometimes days. State and local governments have deployed shark detecting technology to spot and warn beachgoers, including drones. Experts say possible factors attracting sharks include warmer water and bait fish swimming closer to shore. The Rangers are back on the ice tonight. The Blue Shirts led the Panthers two games to one in the best of seven series. And the puck drops tonight at eight in Florida in game four of the Eastern Conference Finals. It should be a really good game. Good luck to them. Are the super cheap flights from MacArthur to Florida worth it? The adventures of Scott Vogel continue today. How bad has this spring been? So cold, so rainy, you'd fly to Florida right now if you could. Even if it was just for 24 hours of sun, sand, turquoise, waters, giant margaritas. But of course you'd have to be crazy to go to Florida for one day. First, you plan ahead, monitor Google flights for fair sales. You just might find yourself paying 56 bucks for a round trip flight to Fort Lauderdale on Frontier Airlines like I do. 56 bucks! Of course, for that price, you can't choose what seat you get, you can't bring any bags, only a small personal item with you, so pack light and open. Make sure you measure it. Frontier is strict about those things. At 8.32 a.m., you arrive at Islip's MacArthur Airport, where fares are cheaper, there's lots of parking just a few feet from the terminal, security's a breeze, it's a travel experience so smooth you find you're boarding by 9.01, the aircraft door is closed by 9.31, and the plane actually leaves on time at 9.43. By 12.57, you're in Florida. Actually, you're there by 12.23 because the flight's more than 30 minutes early, which means that you have time for a quick change of clothes in the airport. You're in an Uber by 12.58, and are actually in the Atlantic by 123. Enjoy! Few places celebrate day drinking like Fort Lauderdale Beach. There's the legendary Elbow Room. Other places like the Drunken Taco just don't have too many margaritas. You don't want to be tipsy when you rent an e-bike from Broward B-Cycle. And within minutes, you're gliding down one of Lauderdale's well-marked bike lanes on the way to dinner at Coconuts at 5.38 p.m. to sit at the bar for a bowl of Scoobies. Yeah, I didn't know what that was either. They're crab claws cooked in a rich garlicky broth, and they are divine. As are the views when you get on a bike again at 6.45 and head over the causeway. Biking past the million dollar homes and yachts that line the intricate network of canals that earned Fort Lauderdale the nickname Venice of America. It's as beautiful at sunset as famed Las Olas Boulevard is at night, lined as it is with restaurants, clubs, galleries, and boutiques. After that, head to the city's Riverwalk and at 11, make your way home as your legs will be falling off at that point. Besides, you got to be up bright and early at 7 a.m. so you can head for the beach as the sun rises over the ocean. And then at 7.46 for breakfast at Lona Cochina, which serves up terrific poached eggs with carnitas and equally terrific waterfront views. But by then you don't have much time, so you head to the beach for one last swim before your Uber ride to the airport, your flight to Islip at 1.57, your arrival at 5.05, and the trip home 
after which you'll likely need a vacation from your whirlwind vacation. Yeah, the vacation from the vacation. Thank you, Scott. Read more about this story on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. A 92-year-old Holocaust survivor is learning to tango. Steve Langford has a story you'll see only in Newsday. In a living room in Roslyn, a weekly private dance session that evokes the wonder and the weight of history. For the hour that I dance, I feel so, so wonderful and in my feel, it makes me forget about all the horrible things that unfortunately is going on into the world now and um, it makes me forget about my past also. Rachel Epstein took up the tango a few years ago in her mid 80s, reconnecting with fond memories of Argentine music that had become popular in France, where as a child she spent three years in hiding from the Nazis during World War II. My one thing to do, what I really I would have loved to do, was interrupted by a horrible war. Iran Polat is her tango instructor. Just living and hearing her pass uh, about the Holocaust and the, the trauma that she lived through, and she's able to be full of life, it's an inspiration to just observe, to, you know, be in presence of. Tango dancing is a powerful and passionate profession of Epstein's resilience. More than three quarters of a century after she saw her parents dragged away by French police, never to be seen again. I look forward so much when to, to do the, my, just my one hour once a week. <laughs> just makes me feel great. Epstein's instructor calls tango dancing funny, playful, vulnerable, strong, and transformative. All traits that can be ascribed to the student herself. She is as inspiring as they come. Dance of a lifetime. Steve Langford for Newsday TV. Read more about this story on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Your hyper-local Tuesday weather now. Here's a look outside at Rogers Beach in West Hampton. You can see some of that lingering fog this morning. It should clear up at some point of the day. Here's a look at today's highs for you. We start off cloudy, but we're going to end up sunny later this morning. A beach day for sure. Highs in the 70s and 80s. Tomorrow, more sunshine with highs in the mid-70s. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. Long Island weather is brought to you by Fire Island Ferries. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.